good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, it's always a great day when we gather in this space, isn't it? Uh, my name is Jason Williams, Associate Athletics Director for Communications and Branding. And uh, on behalf of Campbell Athletics, we welcome you here to the John W. Pope Jr. Communication Center and Campbell University. Uh, we thank each of you again for being here. Uh, so again, it's a very special day. Uh, today you'll hear from Campbell University President Dr. J. Bradley Creed, as well as Director of Athletics, Hannah Baysmore, formally welcoming back home a member of our Campbell family. But first, Senior Associate AD for Advancement, Nathan Rice, will open us up with a word of prayer. Good morning. It's a good day to be at Campbell, isn't it? Would you join me in prayer, please? Creator God, we come together today thankful for your many blessings, excited for new beginnings, and eager to embark on the next chapter for Campbell Baseball. We are seeking your will, Lord, as we welcome Chris Marks as the new head baseball coach at Campbell University. You have uniquely gifted this place, and you've called each of us to utilize our gifts for the glory of your kingdom. Indeed, each of us has a part to play in the fulfillment of your plan for our campus community. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a home here at Campbell. Thank you for our sacred community of higher learning, for our relentless pursuit of faith, always seeking understanding, for our dedication to togetherness, for our commitment to service. Thank you for our students, for our student athletes, for our employees, alumni, and our friends. Thank you especially for our leaders, for President Brad Creed, and for Director of Athletics, Hannah Baysmore for their leadership, resolve, and commitment to serving you through this special place. Lord, we thank you for Coach Chris Marks, for his wife, Nikki, for their children, Clayton, Maddox, and Everett, for their courage and flexibility to uproot and to join our campus community once again. May we continue to be your witness here locally and spanning your world, overcoming divisions, and following your call to work together as part of the whole in our efforts to care for others, to cultivate belonging to ignite innovation and to elevate expectations. Today, I ask that you bless this time of excitement. Bless this university and Coach Marks as he takes the helm of this great program. Be with each of us as we consider our roles individually and collectively in completing the initiatives before us. Grant us openness to discern your perfect will and be with us as we depart. It's in the name of Jesus, your Son and our Savior that I pray, amen. Good morning, baseball fans. It's good to see you here today, and just sports fans in general, too. So glad to see you here today. Your presence testifies to your support of our programs. And to your prayer, I would act like to add a special prayer of thanksgiving for the person who invented air conditioning. <laughs> We're grateful for that today. Uh, we got some hot news in this hot time of year, <clears throat> and you'll hear about it. <clears throat> Excuse me in just a moment. Um, Campbell University proves that you can come home again. This time, you cross home plate because with this hire, we've hit a home run. And uh, I can't say enough good things about Chris Marks and especially his wife, Nikki. Uh, when I had a phone call with him, I, she used to cut my hair. And I said, tell her you had a Zoom call with me. It's been five years and I look like Forrest Gump when he was running across the United States but we welcome them back to our community as a part of our family. And to tell you more about this exciting announcement and the great days ahead for Campbell Baseball, I'm going to invite to the podium our very capable and excellent athletic director, Hannah Bazemore. Please welcome her to the podium. <laughs> Thank you again for being here. Welcome back to Campbell University. Welcome back to Coach Marks and his wonderful family. It has been an amazing six years for Campbell baseball. Four conference tournament titles, five regular season titles, five trips to the NCAAs, three regional finals, and a top 10 ranking. Campbell baseball is now known from coast to coast. Former Campbell stars, Zach Neto and Cedric Mullins are now household names. And the man who recruited Neto and Mullins and many others, who set the foundation and got this thing rolling, 
and then helped build it to new heights as an assistant and is now back as the head coach. Chris Marks helped make Campbell baseball into what it is today. He, is, he was there for the back-to-back -back championships and regional bids and the first regional final. But during his five years as an, as an assistant here, he also fell in love with this community, with this university, with our fans, with this place. He liked this place so much that the only person that could get him to leave was former Campbell head coach Greg Goff, who started the winning tradition here a decade and a half ago. As an assistant at Purdue, Coach Marks guided the Boilermakers to new heights as his pitchers set team records for strikeouts. At both Campbell and Purdue, he coached position players and pitchers. He knows both sides of the ball and knows them very well. He is a tireless recruiter, he is a terrific teacher, and most importantly, he is a great father and husband. And it is my pleasure to officially introduce Campbell's head baseball coach, Chris Marks. Thank you, Hannah. Um, I can't tell you how exciting it is to, to see so many familiar faces, right? Shake some hands and see people that we haven't seen for, for several years. Um, I first want to start by thanking Dr. Creed and, and Hannah Baysmore for um, allowing my family and I to come back to a program that has meant so much to us over the years um, and ultimately uh, helped fulfill my dream of, of becoming a head coach here today. So I also want to thank all of you um, that are here to, to coming out um, and supporting us on, on this day. I'm smart enough to know that I get the spotlight and the microphone today, but ultimately none of this is about me. Um, it's about the players in this room and, and the people that are in this room that care so much about this program um, and want to see the, the continued success and want to see it soar to new heights. Um, we're all here for the same reason. Um, my preparation um, and, and journey for this moment started almost 20 years ago. I was hired as, as an assistant coach at the University of Southern Indiana. My duties included coaching the outfielders and, and assisting with the hitters. Um, after a couple of seasons, um, our pitching coach, who was the main assistant, left to take a head coaching job, um, and our head coach was able to transition over to coaching the pitchers very seamlessly, um, and I always admired that. I thought it was incredible um, because it's very unique. Um, in this sport, right, for people to be able to do that. And so I knew if I ever had the opportunity to tackle that challenge um, in the future, um, I would love to do that and learn because I knew it would set me up for an opportunity like this at some point in my career. Um, since then, I've successfully led half of a program um, multiple times in multiple places. We've set school records, multiple school records. We've led a great culture um, at every stop that I've been, and I couldn't be more excited to put those two things together and lead an entire team um, starting here this year and starting today. Um, everyone's aware of the, of the challenges um, that lie ahead of us, um, but to me, ultimately, that is the most exciting part of this deal. Um, you know, the truth is there's always been challenges. This place was built on a bunch of nobodies from nowhere a lot of years ago um, that had a chip on their shoulder. Maybe they were passed over by other programs. Maybe they weren't recruited um, by other places and they want to go to a place where they could put their head down and just try to see how good of a person and how good of a player that they could become. Um, that will remain the same today, okay? So um, in the world of 2024, the, the college athletics has become increasingly transactional um, with, with the transfer portal and all the things out there. Um, our role has been and will remain to be, um, to be developers of men, um, men that can go out in the community and be great leaders in the community, great leaders in their household um, when, when their time at Campbell is, is, is done and finished. Um, there's a really good blueprint for development that's already here. Um, a set of standards that the people from the outside, everyone in here will be looking at myself and our coaching staff and our players to uphold. Um, but I'm here to tell you that the brotherhood is alive and well. Um, a week ago, right, when, when the job was announced, the first text that I received with my phone um, being 150 times in a row was from Zach Neto, the shortstop for the Los Angeles Angels. Um, since then, I've heard from a bunch of different alumni from different time periods. I've heard from past coaches. I've gotten to connect with, with these players that are here. Um, and it just goes to show you how important this place is, right, from people that not, might not be able to be in this room today, um, but people that have a lot of respect and love for, for what goes on here on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, 
Ultimately, the workman style attitude um, is still alive and well. I've been here for almost a week. Uh, I've gotten to watch our pitchers go through tremendous processes, um, incredible attention to detail, um, just, just kind of paying attention out the window, watching them go through their work. Um, it's elite. Um, I've, I've seen hitters set up the field on their own outside of my office window. Um, I've seen them leave the cages and come in here in, in, in my office and tell me to have a good night between 10 and 11 o'clock at night um, for every night in a row, um, which says a lot. It is, this is July, right? Nobody's forced those guys to be here. They are here on their own, um, ready to work and get after it. And that is a special thing that does not happen a lot of places. Our job moving forward is to continue to show those guys what it takes, right, to clearly communicate that accountability and discipline um, will ultimately lead to their successes in the future, um, that there will be challenging times and, and hard days ahead, um, but that's ultimately what prepares us for, for battle. Um, ultimately, the people that sit in that room on August 21st at our first team meeting um, will, will, the bond will never have been thicker, right? The chip on the shoulder will never have been greater, right, than it will be in that room, and I'm here to fuel that fire every single day. Um, lastly, we just want to eliminate fear. Um, I think that fear is the single most limiting factor to people um, moving forward and accomplishing the things that they want to. Um, we are going to continue to push the limits uh, of development and our preparation. Um, we want to continue to um, be outside the box thinkers. We want to run away from the status quo, uh, the status quo, um, and ultimately we'll let the wins and losses take care of themselves. Nikki and I want to thank you all um, for welcoming us back into this community. Um, we can't wait to watch our boys run around Jim Perry Stadium again. Um, we can't wait to see them grow up in this community. Um, and we want to thank you all for your love and care for this program and for being here today. And we cannot wait to get to work. Roll humps. Everybody's fired up now, right? All right. All right. That concludes today's program. We're going to uh, take some time uh, with, our, with our visiting media here uh, with Coach Marks off to the side. Uh, please do say hello before you leave to, to Coach and, uh, and, and Nikki. And uh, thank you so much again for being here.